Welcome back guys. Today about to head to get the work done on this stuff here. I'm gonna get this welded up and then get the bead rolls on there. But the guy that's gonna do it supposedly has a race shop. So hopefully we can get a tour of that place. Gonna take the daily driver, the Dakota, because the storms are about to roll in. But hopefully we can get a tour of that place while we're there. So let's go. All right, time to go. I'll give you guys a daily driver cold start right here. Okay, so we're here at Kelly Brothers. Just dropped off the carburetor hat and the uh, charge tube for him to do the work on. But uh, this is just a, like a sheet metal place. And they used to do racing. They used to do mainly go-karts. And then before the go-karts, dad had like a NASCAR. But um, nothing really here to look at. Just a, you know, machine and sheet metal place. So. We're going to let them take care of that, and we'll come pick it up later. All right, so after dropping off the stuff at Kelly Brothers, me and David were headed back to his house, and my old shop teacher from high school lives basically across the street from David. And we saw him outside, so we stopped in there. And it looked like he was getting ready to go somewhere, and we were just talking to him. So he bought all the bolt bins out of an Ace Hardware that had shut down. So we're going to go help him and pick those up. So... He, had, he has about a quarter of them or half of them already at the house, but we need to go pick up the other ones before it starts raining. But yeah, it's hilarious. All these bolt bins are full from Ace Hardware. So we're gonna go help him with that. We're gonna get David's truck hooked to the trailer and head on over to, what's that place called? Habitat for Humanities. Habitat for Humanities. Okay guys, we just got to Habitat for Humanities. See, we got David's truck here. By the way, he got his new tires and his alignment things jam up now after that new rack and pinion but uh, i'm gonna go in here we're gonna get all this stuff that he bought and i'll show you <laughs> you're gonna laugh i laughed when i saw how much he bought but anyway i'll show you in a little bit once we get stuff loaded okay we have been loading for about an hour here's one load this is literally all the bolt bins out of ace hardware literally every one of these are full And then, there's the second load. So we have David's trailer loaded up as well. Every single one of these are full of brand new bolts. Look at this. Labeled and marked just like the store. We have it wrapped in plastic keep things from moving around and then some laid on the deck but we're about to head to the house get it unloaded before the rain hits us we got our work cut out for us today okay guys so i'm back at my house grabbed tully's danger ranger we uh unloaded one of the trailers real quick because it just we had the thing set up to where the tools would or the uh bolt set would roll off and now i need to grab a tarp for the other trailer because it's about to start raining so we're just going to cover that one and empty the truck out and we have that other trailer unloaded so I'm grabbing a big tarp so we can cover that up i'm gonna head back over there i'm gonna hopefully show you some of his shop he's got a little uh dodge i mean not dodge he's got a ford uh comet so hopefully show you that real quick so i think 347 with a manual transmission but i'm gonna head back over there in the ranger okay guys got the tarp on this section of bolts here that was on hook to david's truck and so that one's good the rain has started so that's nice and covered up then this is a trailer that's tully's brothers and it used to be a u-haul trailer I'm mean, not a U-Haul trailer, a uh, Home Depot trailer. But this winch here lowers the whole deck to the ground. So the other batch of bolts that were on this trailer, we had on a dolly on a piece of wood. So we were able to just roll that off and into the garage. 
and then they unloaded the back of that truck while I went to my house to get the tarp. Well, let's go in here and see what kind of bolts we have. Using Google. Yeah. So these are the bolts that are part of the bolts that he bought. <laughs> and let's see. Slam full. And then here's more. Everything's full too. Let's see. Marked, labeled. Got some crazy stuff here. Just everything from the store. And then the whole trailer outside too. Almost like you got a whole hardware store. That's a whole hardware store right there. Then, what, 63 Comet? Yeah. 347, and then a four speed transmission? C4. C4 transmission. So that's a little car he's been working on driving. Nice ride. Okay, guys, back home raining i wanted to just hit on a few things that happened today since i didn't film a lot of it so first off we went to kelly brothers and i took these pieces they made a bead on there for me bead rolled that both sides so that when we put it on the car we don't have to worry about silicone popping off also took the carburetor hat and had the blow off valve welded on so they charged me 43 dollars for that do all that but um on the way home to David's house, we were kind of talking about going to the junkyard and different things. And Tully lives across the street from David. Tully was my automotive shop teacher at Lively Technical Center back in 98, 99. So we've kept, kept in touch over the years. But anyway, Tully was outside and we were like, well, why don't we just stop and talk to him? So we stopped and he said he had bought some bolts and stuff, some bolt bins. And I was like, well, I'll help you go pick them up. <laughs> well, when we got there at Habitat for Humanities, he bought what was an Ace Hardware setup. The Ace Hardware had closed and he bought everything. So we wanted to help him with that because, you know, that, that was a lot of stuff. So we helped him get it back to the house and it ended up being a great day. Went to lunch, got that stuff to his house and I thought it was really cool. I wanted to share it with you guys. We had to beat the rain, so you know we got the job done, and now we have all this stuff at our disposal if we need it. And as you know, at an Ace Hardware, there's not just nuts and bolts. There are pins and, I mean, body bolt, body clips, and all kinds of stuff, and he has all of it. So, anyways, fun day. Got some stuff accomplished here. Helped him. He's uh, also he's got that car, '63 Comet, Stroker, aluminum heads. Um, Super Demon carburetor, I think, or Street Demon carburetor, and C4 transmission. Car super nice, drives good, makes good power. He doesn't he doesn't know the numbers, but it, it's got good power. So nice car. Would have liked to show a little bit more of that to you, but you know, personal people's people's personal space. I don't really like messing with, so that's why it's just a quick clip. But just want to share this with you guys. Hope you liked it. See you next time.